Simplify 3D, there is a transform gizmo that is similar to what you would find within a 3D modeling software. This gizmo gives you control over the X, Y and Z dimensions. It can be used to move, rotate and scale objects into place. This is great for merging two or more files together and doesn't require an external program. Here are some images comparing Simplify 3D and Cura prints. Using advanced algorithms, Simplify 3D produces G codes which are easier for your 3D printer to interpret, resulting in better quality prints. This is the advanced previews mode. Um, the colour here represents the speed, um, which relates to the chart on the left. Um, and you, this will show any errors that the design might have. You could also split the uh, different types um, into different colours. So the infill, the outer layer, the raft, the supports, etc. are all shown in different colours. This is probably the most exciting feature in Simplify 3D. You can choose different print settings for different sections of your print. So on this one, for example, we have lower quality at the bottom and then at a specific height set, um, it changes um, to high quality. So you've got a, a much more dense infill and then a much smaller layer height. You can also do this for separate prints on the build plate. So here, the one on the left, the print on the left is low quality and then on the right, it's high quality. Another thing you can do is to save custom settings. And to do this, you simply come up with a name, and so we've gone with high quality here, and we're gonna set up our profile for a high quality print. And you can play around with all the different settings that are in Simplify 3D. So play around with the cooling, temperature, support, and infill, and then if you click OK, that will save for next time. Simplify 3D also gives you the option to add custom supports. So you can just add supports wherever you want, like this, and delete them as well. And you can adjust the size of them as well, like this. You can literally add as many supports as you want, or as few, and just select small little areas like this to add your support structure. It really does help to uh, experiment with different settings and support structures just to make sure that you get the best possible print at the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.